guys, it's Davis Supreme. Today, we'll be unboxing, unboxing Siege War for Cybertron, Voyager class, 8-Face. Finally, something that is not a deluxe class. I have been opening so many deluxe classes, and this guy is a Voyager class. Finally, something different from a deluxe class. Now, I have never seen a Siege War for Cybertron Decepticon Triple Changer before. I've seen a, a triple changer transform, but not a septicon a triple changer. So, yeah. Front of the box. The box art. Voyager class. The Siege logo. The back. Um, so... His ape mode is 21 steps in the spaceship, and um, yeah, I think it's like a spaceship, and I'll just say jet. His ape mode is 21 steps, and his jet mode is 20 steps. And he's actually a headmaster. He actually has a, he has a headmaster. Oh wait, I'm bringing the scissors. He is um in um the generation one continuity. I mean, like the show. He was he was a horror con, and um he he was also with Snapdragon, and he acted kind of like Grimlock. He was aggressive, and he was like really mean, mean, and like he act yeah he did like kind of act like Grimlock, and like he like he like tr he was like so sort of, like. So like he like made his presence known everywhere, and like um the um, the other a uh, horror con was Snapdragon, and I also believe he is a um Predacon too. I don't know, but yeah um there's a horror con right? Yeah, I think Snapdragon is also Predacon. Oh, I thought they were both horror cons. Anyway, I don't know, but um yeah, so. He's a Horicon. He really acts. He acts like a Grimlock. He's really aggressive. He he always makes his presence known wherever he goes, and like he makes like like he like so like he pretty much like puts fear into like people to like kind of like manipulate them. But truly, he doesn't. He's not really a Grimlock. He actually is very smart. So. Deflected. All right now. All right. He actually, he actually has two heads. One of them is the ape, is like the ape head, which is on the back of the normal head, which is indented on the feet. So spasma. You can barely see spasma, but it is a headmaster, so it's super tiny. Right now, let's just quickly turn spasma back into their head mode. All right. So let's just get to the transformation. Pew pew. Wow, this guy is awesome. He is huge. This guy is colossal. Wow. Right. 
This guy is awesome. But now for the jet mode. Jet mode. Let's go again. All right, so I think that was it for Siege War for Cybertron Voyager Class Ape Face. So he was awesome. Definitely recommend him. He is hard to transform. It takes a while, but. And you eventually get it. Now, it might just be my toy, but his weapon is super loose. But he is awesome. Definitely recommend him. He is a bit hard to transform. But it's kind of hard to, um, in the jet mode, it is kind of hard to get his headmaster into um, the second cockpit up here. But you don't have to put its legs in um, their leg, um, Spasma's head, um, Spasma's legs into the tabs, which it includes. And the tabs to go into the legs. That's hard to do. So you can just put it in, have the legs, um, like go a bit up. And if it, if it, if the second cockpit doesn't close all the way, you can always just put this on, like the instructions say, and it'll completely close it. And I think that was it. This guy is def super awesome. Definitely, definitely recommend him. And I guess all I can say is, bye guys. You're watching this on the Dabber Supreme.